secret ingredient. I always want to know what the secret ingredient is. Hang tight. What's our obsession with always wanting to know the secret ingredient? Like your barbecue restaurant that you love, what is that secret ingredient? I think it's because we want to understand why something is different. And it's just human nature. Now, I have heard Big Old Bird and Litter Life called snake oil. It doesn't really bother me because I realize that it is driven by a lack of understanding of something. So we lash out, we don't know what it is, and we'll just call it something else because we don't understand. Well, that's my job today is to give you a little insight on the science behind the secret ingredient. Now, you go back a few years before antibiotic free, this whole antibiotic free environment, and you would find that the word probiotic was considered snake oil in this industry. But you'd be hard pressed now to find an integrator anywhere who isn't using some form of probiotics, either in the feed or in water or something like that. So it has changed. Now, we do have 14 strains of beneficial bacteria in our products, but that ain't the secret ingredient. Humic acid. And fulvic acid is a big part of humic acid. And actually, humic acid and fulvic acid, sometimes you will hear used interchangeably. But that is actually the secret ingredient in our products. Now, without getting too scientific, in fact, if you wanted to do some research on your own, I encourage you to do this. Go do a Google search for humic acid or even fulvic acid. 95% of the things that will pop up are fulvic acid for human consumption and what it will do for humans. There is a plethora of things that fulvic acid does, but I just wanna focus on a few things of how fulvic acid benefits your birds. Fulvic acid has a very low molecular weight. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna get super scientific, I can't. I, I just, I'm, I'm not smart enough to do that. But let me explain to you what a low molecular weight does. Fulvic acid will permeate a cell wall. Now cells take in nutrients and get rid of waste. That's what they do. Fulvic acid, by allowing that cell wall to be permeated, allows that process to happen a little more efficiently. What that means is fulvic acid does an incredible job of retention and absorption. So what it does is it helps livestock, even humans, and you can buy fulvic acid for human consumption on another level, but fulvic acid will allow you to get more out of feed and nutrients and supplements, and it'll help you in that respect. So that's one big way it helps poultry, chickens, livestock in general. The second thing that a low molecular weight does and this is probably the best way to describe it. Every atom of that fulvic acid is highly oxygenated. Large oxygen. If you were to look at the breakdown of the chemical structure of fulvic acid, incredibly high oxygen. And that's why it's able to permeate cell walls. It also breaks down biofilm. But what it does in a chicken litter floor is it actually oxygenates the floor at a molecular level. Okay, what does that mean? It's going to help dry the litter. See, there's a thing that we forget about when we're talking about composting litter. The importance of nitrogen, carbon, and oxygen. That house is full of nitrogen, and though that bedding that you use provides some bit of carbon. And the other one that we sometimes don't get hold of very well is oxygen in that floor. But fulvic acid can get in there, oxygenate the floor, and allow it to dry. It also, by breaking that surface tension of water, will allow water to evaporate quicker as well. So you've got absorption and retention of nutrients. You've got oxygenation of the floor. And this one's a little more difficult too, but fulvic acid 
is not a prebiotic, but it does stimulate probiotic activity. All right, that was a big load right there. Prebiotic, and sometimes people get this messed up. Prebiotic means it is something that feeds bacteria. So um, a lot of people will use molasses when they create a compost tea. It feeds the good bacteria. So without getting too detailed, fulvic acid is not a prebiotic, but it is very important for stimulating probiotic activity, which just goes hand in hand with our philosophy here at Southland Organics. We use organic acids and probiotics to build the immune system of the bird and the overall health of the bird. Now, there are so many more things that fulvic acid can do, and I still want to encourage you to go do a Google search about what fulvic acid will do, and that'll kind of help you some more. But I could go on and on, and we might even do another video. But I just want to talk about a few things. Now, if you have any questions on this, do not call me because I'm not a scientist and I don't understand. No, I'm just kidding. But if, if you do have some questions, I've got some research articles and some things that might be of help to you, but don't hesitate to do the, do the drill. Alan at southlandorganics.com or 1-800-608-3755. If I can help you, let me know. And just so you know, fulvic acid is as old as nature.